there's two types of behavior that we see when we talk about non-ideal behavior. Um, by the way, this type of phenomena is called azeotropes. So the first is called a minimum boiling point azeotrope. So we're going to draw that xy axis like we did before. Remember, you get your temperature, right? Degrees Celsius on both sides. And your percent composition down here below. Um, and let's look at let's look at the classic example here. So that would be water and ethanol. So water, we all know, has a boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius. Ethanol's boiling point is 78.5 degrees Celsius. So it turns out that, that in a minimum boiling point azeotrope, minimum means there's some boiling point that's lower than expected. So in this situation, at some percentage, we actually end up seeing a slight repulsion between the two different solvents. So if there's an extra repulsion, then that would mean that the boiling point's a little bit lower. So for ethanol and water, this has been studied quite extensively. Um, let's just put a point around right there. Now, what we do is we connect these with two little wedges, right? So do your best to draw that in there. Mine might be a little over-exaggerated, but you get the point there. Now the way that you look at this is here you have your water, here you have your ethanol, and if we were to start off at say, you know, this percentage right, of ethanol, and we were to distill it using a fraction fractional distillation, we'd come up to this position, right, it'd boil, and we'd get a step, right, and then we'd have condensation, and then we get another distillation. All these things are happening, right, so we get all these little steps occurring, but notice at some point in time, though, we just stop right here, and when we come down and look at where that is, right, on our axes here, this turns out to give us 95.6% um, ethanol. Now the other type of um, azeotrope is a maximum. So the maximum boiling point azeotrope, you can probably see where I'm going with this. Minimum has some temperature that's below what, what you would expect it to be. So a maximum has a temperature a boiling point that's above what you would expect it to be. So if we put a point down here like so, and another boiling point up here, and we pick some number, it doesn't really matter where it is. This is something that has to be determined experimentally, but we could get a little wedge in just like that. And then we'd come down just like this. Right. So up here at this, this top position, here we see a slight attraction. And that causes the boiling point to be higher than you would expect it. Mm -hmm.